Costa Rica, and frankly, as he did here in the United States. Here comes the counterattack. Chips inside. Dooley misses the header off the post and in! Score! You! Credit to Tom Dooley, but also to Eric Ronaldo. That was not an easy ball to put away. And if anybody needs a goal on this team, it's Eric Ronaldo. He's been frustrated uh, of late, had terrible misses against Scotland, even though he scored a penalty and has not been able to score in this championship. But he was the right man in the right spot as that ball was flighted uh, way over Campos's head. And he was right there. Here's the cross coming over. Dooley lets it go and or can't reach it. And right there is Ronaldo with the with the finish. Is that John Hart's with the cross? And excellent finishing by Ronaldo because Campos had drifted to that side where he must go. As uh, the referee Gutierrez trying to get the U.S. wall backed up a little bit, and Friedel doing his best to direct traffic. The shot. Tremendous boost from Mexico here. And their coach, Bora Milutinovic, as he heads towards the, uh, the locker room. And a real bad lapse by the United States. They had been playing very sloppy soccer for the previous four minutes. And that was very predictable, frankly. You could just feel something was going to happen if they kept giving chances to Mexico. And they presented them with a free kick through an awkward challenge at the top of the box. And a tremendous shot by Rafael Garcia around the wall, far corner, hit like a rocket just inside the post. Not really not much of a chance for Brad Friedel. As we see it again, over the wall, Garcia, Luis Garcia drifting in to try to flick it, but this man, 21 years of age in his first national team goal, Rafael Garcia. Now, quick restart, Caligiri giving chase. Caligiri can't come up with it. Abundis and Lawless battling. The shot. And in! Score Mexico! Yep, and this is no. what happens when you go forward. Blanco, number 11. U.S. going forward and committing a lot of players forward, and eventually they get caught, but they have enough players back here. But it caroms off Marcelo Balboa, unfortunately, for the United States, as you'll see it here. There's the, the pass across. And now watch it, it comes back to Blanco, and as he shoots it, just watch it hit. See, it hits the Balboa. underneath of the foot of Balboa and goes Nicky in the corner. And there is Bora. That's a huge goal for him, a huge goal for Mexico. And Mexico has scored two goals in this match, both after regulation time, time yeah. had ended. At a time of the first half, and now here in the second half as we approach the 90 second minute. But there have been so many dangerous situations that Brad Friedel has had to deal with today. It just catches up with you after a while. I mean, the U.S. got a lot of great breaks in the early going, but Blanco, who came onto this game, gets the second goal for Mexico. A soul clears that out. And Dooley was pleading for a handball yep. there. He thought it carried out for a soul's hand. Now Blanco on the run again has taken off of it. Parks and Davino battling on the near side. Well, Hart's running because he wants to see if they can get a score here. The draw still won't do the trick, no. but they don't want to lose. Parks 
McBride got a piece of it. And in! Dooley ties it at two! And a great flick back by McBride there, who set it up beautifully by getting over the top and playing it back for Dooley. you that uh, while a 2-2 tie is, saves the day in one sense, it still gives Mexico the U.S. Cup if it ends up like this. And surprisingly enough, the U.S. would finish third behind Ireland. 